All right, guys, uh, this is going to be pretty short here, but I just got through watching a video from Blue Heaven titled July Rapture 2017. And you just got to love uh, this stuff. This is getting pretty comical. Uh, so this, uh, and she calls herself, I guess, uh, Gigi. Okay, so, so we'll just go w with that. Uh, Gigi, back in uh, April, as many of you know, she claimed that the Lord spoke to her, you know, a, a voice from heaven or whatever she said and told her that the rapture was going to take place on April 16th and 17th. She even had a video where she shouted, thus saith the Lord, blah, blah, blah. And of course, it didn't happen. And then she made the usual excuses that these date setters make when they're in denial and when they have egg on their face and when they look like idiots they start talking about how well the Lord was talking about a, a, a different calendar and oh well, you know, the calendar's off a week, blah, blah, blah. And then when all that blows over, then they, they disappear. Well, she came back on camera and she supposedly repented, okay? She said she wasn't gonna set dates anymore. She repents from date setting. Uh, she was saying that she was so sorry, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if she understands the difference of being sorry and repenting. It didn't quite really sound like she did. But anyway, she said that she repented and then she was sorry. And then I noticed that when this nut job, Rody, uh, he set uh, a rapture date for, I believe it was June the 17th, and then he changed it to the 20th, and then he changed, and this is the same video, he, he was going and altering the title of the video, then he changed it to the 27th, and the, you know, it, it, it it's, like I said, the, the actual title of the video changed like three or four times, it was uh, it, very amusing. Anyway, you go through Blue Heaven's uh, liked videos, and you see that she liked that particular video and uh, in other videos of his. Now, for a person who said that they repented from date setting to go and support another person in date setting just goes to show you that the individual that she, you know, Gigi, was lying through her teeth. She lied on camera to you. She truly didn't repent. She truly didn't turn. She was just trying to save face. Now, in this video that I just watched of hers, the most recent one of hers, I believe that it says uh, July Rapture 2017, it's basically 17 minutes of slurring speech. Uh, you know, she slurring in her speech uh, quite a quite a bit, actually. And so this brings me to my next point with that. All that being aside, you know, so let's let's set that aside. Some thoughts came to mind after watching 17 minutes of her doing this. Okay. Is that when we come on camera, uh, you know, if, if, if we're going to shine the light of Christ, if, if we're going to share the gospel, it's important that we are an example. Okay. And, 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 and let me tell you what I mean by that. So when Esther and I, we were having all of our issues with our marriage. And this was over 10 years ago. We The, the first several years of our marriage uh we got separated uh, so from 1998 to 9 I'm sorry from 1998 to 2008 uh over that period of time we had three different separations okay now i really was not in a in in a shape or condition to go and be an encouragement to other people's marriages because my marriage was a wreck OK, I had to, I had some uh, searching of the heart to do. I had to look into my own heart. I had to examine myself to, to, to see that I was truly in the faith. I had to, to seek the Lord and, 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 and get renewed in the areas of my life. And that process is always going on in our life, no matter what. But when it came to my marriage, I had some work to do. Now, I can't go out and give other people advice on marriage when my marriage is a wreck myself. And so that's kind of what I mean right there. Now. If you're an individual who you have issues with drugs or smoking weed or anything like that, you know, I think it's important that you don't come on camera stoned, that you don't come on camera intoxicated or hung over. Hello? It's a very important thing. And like I said, this is a separate topic from, you know, what, I, what I'm saying here. But 
I, I'm just like I said, that's what came to mind, however, after watching 17 minutes of her speech slurring. Now, I don't know if, you know, she was smoking weed or stoned or anything else. But I will tell you from my personal opinion, it sure looked like this lady was stoned, like stoned, stoned. So I think it's important that we don't come on camera all drugged up and stoned up or anything else. Because this is a huge problem, I think, that's going on with a lot of this date setting garbage is that these people are not actually followers of Christ. They're not actually crucifying their flesh. They're not actually picking up their cross and following after Jesus. These are just professing Christians. It's what's ever easy. It's the easy, cheesy message. And that's kind of what I shared in my last message, that 95% of these individuals, it's all about conspiracy theories, dreams and visions, date setting, and motivational speeches. So I just wanted to mention that. And I just wanted to bring that up because we got to watch out for this garbage. It's like a cop. If, you, if you're if you you're swerving all over the road and the cop has you get out of the car and says, walk this line and you can't walk the line. Well, you know, hey, there's some pretty good evidence here that something's wrong. And with a lot of these date setters, these nut jobs out here, there's something mentally wrong with these individuals. They need help. They need prayer. And they need to check themselves in. Uh, to to uh, 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 some kind of clinic where they can get some help, you know, or check yourself into a, you know, with me, I went to a, a class on marriage. Sometimes we got to check ourselves in. We got to get out of the spotlight and check ourselves in. And a lot of these people, they're too full of themselves to admit that they truly have a problem.